Sama Sunda Sunda yang ada di Tengah Wisata Kota Malang. Okay. Menurut Hendra Nafis, Anda tadi projection dari Mr. Zawad down to village within a good extent as well as entertainment format. So in the this video will be going through a few more the names of this um, sketching platform or sketching workflows. So uh, in the today's video we will be talking about uh, the Mookout, Object Mookout and a uh, few more commands which would be very useful for developing your 3D models. So uh, let me just create my Hendron sketch. Okay, so uh, here when I click on my new curve, you have many options which uh, you'll get a dialog box in which you have many options through which your curve could be moved or translated from one portion to other portion uh, on your workspace at a particular distance and angle. So when I select the distance and angle here, the transformation motion are given with various other uh, options are also provided so that you can easily move it on a workspace so first one is distance and angle the second is distance and third is angle similarly slow on you can move your curve between distance po uh, between points and it can be moved between point to point it can also be rotated by three points align axis to vector and also you can provide a dynamic move so this as in when you start using uh, you'll easily understand how to uh, use all these options uh, as per your drawing requirements okay so i'll show one or two uh, and then we'll quickly move forward to the other options so uh, distance and angle here as you can see in this uh, it's asked to select the curve first let me select this uh, arc and you can see uh, axis appears here so here you can either specify in the direction uh, specify the vector direction it can be either uh, along x-axis y-axis or any of the axes as here you can find the options along which direction you want to move this then you can it will ask to specify the pivot point you can specify the pivot point with respect to the axis or the created axis the workspace axis or the axis which you want to create okay you can create an axis using your uh, axis line using your line so uh, okay i hadn't shown that i'll show you how to make that first so just draw a line and once you have done your line just click on this let's click on your uh, and convert it to reference so this is how you can create a reference line or an axis line okay this can also be used for other uh, options such as mirror and uh, uh, for um, translation or you can use it for offset or you can use it for creating patterns etc okay so coming back to MOOC curve now we'll just go through fastly angle and distance then specify this curve and uh, specify the web okay select the curve and specify the distance along which it has to be moved let me assume it to be at a distance of 50 and an angle of uh, 45 degrees so one can find so like this distance 50 Apply it. Okay. So one can find that it has been moved to a distance. Of the specified manner. You can find this point over here. And this is my curve which was moved at an angle of 45 degrees with respect to the axis okay this is a radius automatically it has taken to whatever distance you had specified 
so this is how you make use of your uh, distance uh, sorry um, yeah move curve option now similarly you have another option that is to offset move curve so here it's offset as one can find the uh, offset is most probably majorly used in your sketching modes in uh, 2d sketching modes in your autocad one who has used autocad would easily know what an offset means offset means moving a distance at a particular uh, distance along x or y axis so select this so you're creating an impression uh, you're creating a similar option or similar impression which you have generated initially let me attend so, apply. so you can see that it this offset move curve it has moved this to 10 mm okay you heard uh, in offset move curve you don't find the other options which you had uh, previously seen in the move curve option okay so this is about offset mocha then we'll move further so a few more commands uh, such as delete curve resize chamfer curve and resize curve this we'll discuss when we have started our 3d uh, part modeling because uh, a part is required a 3d model is required to use these curves for even this uh, recite uh, trim recipe curve okay so moving forward okay coming back we'll go to mockers in which the first option we'll see is uh, the polygon and uh, for this uh, studio spline we'll come back to studio spline when we start 3d modeling okay polygon as it asks to specify the point where you want to create the point or you can just specify using these many options are uh, already there the point where you want to uh, locate your um, polygon in Chile. Now, let me start with the axis. vary the number of sides it will start varying whatever kind of polygon you want you can easily create using this setup number of sides okay so we'll start with the pentagon or we'll go with an hexagon shape okay so here in this polygon option we have three different uh, uh, options in the third one size specify point and you have circumscribed radius inscribed, uh, inscribed radius circumscribed radius and side length so with, let me start with the inscribed radius and specify the radius of 6 mm and rotational degree is 0 0 So you can see you are obtaining an inscribed circle. Now next, let me specify the first point in the same polygon. Now let me change to circumscribed radius. So we'll create it again. Just a comparison between uh, the difference you can show that uh, what actually differs with respect to inscribed and circumscribed uh, radius polygon click here that may make it as much as point and circumscribe and take 6 radius and rotation angle to be 0 okay So one can find the values to be varied accordingly. Uh, you can just dimension it and then see. So one can easily find out uh, what's the difference between inscribed and circumscribed circles, right? Okay. So this is giving 6.9. This is giving 6. 
So this is how which creates the difference between the inscribed and circumscribed. Now uh, one more thing is that one more option which is uh, so uh, one more option which is useful as which is useful as well as available in this is side length. Based on the side length, you can specify the dimensional values you want to so let me make it a six as well as sorry side length is six and rotation make it as zero okay so then this manner you can easily make use of an uh, polygon option for creating hexagons as well as other kind of uh, polygons uh, based on the required of number of based on the requirement of the number of sides uh, usually hexagons are uh, you can find a major uh, usage of this hexagons for drawing the uh, your uh, nuts as well as screws etc union mechanical uh, engineering uh, drawings so that is very this command comes for major use over there okay so moving forward The command uh, one is your ellipse. Just click on ellipse, place your uh, cursor, uh, start point, specify your start point as in the ellipse. You know it requires two options one is the major radius, and the other one is your minor radius. Please enter your major radius as well as minor radius. And it, here it provides the option of angle also. If you provide it to zero angle, it can be with respect to x axis, or you can specify an rotational axis and just apply so this is how you can easily draw an ellipse similarly for an offset curve if you want to offset this ellipse you can specify the distance whatever distance you want it can be it can be used as a uh, similarly as a scale option okay here you will be having both of them so distance okay so you get the copy with an enlarged uh, which is translated at a 2 mm distance with respect to the original uh, sketch so this is used in this manner offset curve you need not redraw an ellipse with an uh, or any uh, geometry with an with the enlargement or with uh, you need not redraw that basically used in that manner. Okay. Uh, next, we'll go to uh, patterns. So this is one of the major uh, important option which would save a huge amount of time instead of creating the drawings or um, in creating the sketches. Okay. So let me take this as my helping sketch and go to my pattern. Okay, a pattern dialog box appears here. You are provided with the three options uh, circular, general, or linear. Okay, so let me start with the linear. Select the curve and select this curve. So, this would be it is provided with three other options one is your count and pitch, count and span, pitch and span. So, count.